Be careful, nothing should happens to IPOB leader Kanu, United Nation warns FG. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel. The United Nation has voiced serious concerns regarding the health of IPOB leader, Namdi Kanu. According to United Nations, Kanu is in a precarious health situation and requires immediate and specialized medical treatment. In a strong statement, United Nations highlighted the critical nature of Kanu's health, stressing the need for urgent medical attention. The group issued a caution, stating, Nothing must happen to Kanu during and after his illegal detention in DSS solitary confinement. The spokesperson for United Nations stated this in a press statement released on Sunday. In it, United Nation leader conveyed the group's deep concern for Kanu's well-being and their insistence on immediate medical intervention to prevent serious health consequences. The statement reads, The report reaching us indicates that IPOB leader Kanu is having medical complications in the DSS solitary confinement. The report said that Kanu may be having internal bleeding caused by torture. This current medical situation may have risen from ruptured veins and internal bleeding disorders arising from the beating and torture he was subjected to by the Nigerian secret agents who illegally arrested him in Kenya in 2021. More so, the drug overuse and abuse that DSS has subjected Kanu to may also be part of the problem. IPOB leader Kanu requires medical emergency treatment outside the DSS facility to undergo surgery for his survival. Even the DSS medical director agrees that Kanu requires urgent and serious medical attention to handle his case. The federal government and the British government should release Kanu on medical grounds for independent medical professionals to attend to him and carry out the surgery if necessary to save the unforeseen situation. They further advised President Bola Tinubu to release Kanu before it becomes too late. The group further stated that Tinubu should release Kanu, to save Nigeria from a calamitous situation that will befall it, if Kanu dies in custody, the statement added, IPOB members worldwide must emphasize the medical emergency of Kanu. Also, Igbo politicians, religious leaders, women groups, and elders in Igbo land must all rise up to ensure that nothing happens to Kanu. All hands must be on the deck to ensure that he is released immediately for him to undergo a thorough medical examination and treatment. The federal government should be careful that nothing happens to Kanu during and after his illegal detention in DSS solidarity confinement. Kanu is a precious jewel that Biafrans have given their lives to protect, and many are ready to give their lives for him. Kanu is a trigger of the gun that is capable of sinking Nigeria if mishandled. The Igbo political jobbers who are colluding with Tinubu's government to jail or kill Kanu and to destroy IPOB should be careful not to murder sleep for themselves and their families. IPOB has been tolerant of the abuse of the judicial process by the Supreme Court justices to keep Kanu indefinitely illegally in detention. But should anything happen to him during or after detention, the consequences may be left imagined. Therefore, we call on the federal government of Nigeria to release Kanu to attend to his medical emergency situation while there is still time. Thanks for watching. Now my analytics. Now my analysis is quite appalling that the so-called federal government in the making of Ahmed Dinibu continue to deceive Nigerians. This is a man who was a drug baron. This is a man who came into presidential house through the Bias Mies. Bias Mies, this is a man that bought Enoch. And the Supreme Court, also the so called Appeal Court, collaborated together. To bring into office. Today, he's the president of Nigeria. No doubt. He has started using the Supreme Court. The way Buhari used them. He has started using the Appeal Court the way Buhari used them. He has started using the High Court the way Buhari used them. For him, he believes he can join Nandekam. Let me 
do that that Fulani could not do. That is exactly what is happening here. He believes he has sense. He believes he can do everything and go through with it. I've said it before. Just like any the can, he has children also to be pushed home. Watch what he's doing. Otherwise, <laughs> nobody cares about whether he's president or not. The children is everywhere in the world. They can be dressed. Something can still happen. Some guys are mad. Some guys can do anything because of the name they can. You don't understand it. Some guys can die for the name they can. Some guys can still buy, buy people for the name they can. And they still die because they are ready to do anything for the name they can. That is a word people like people don't understand. These are men who have stolen the resources meant for the masses, converted into money with help of British government and some criminal politicians, just like we came, that criminal coming from River State. For them, Nigerian masses are nothing. That is why you see them buying bullet proof G. Bado, land cruiser of 200 million. Even after the salary, they are collected. Uneducated idiot, like Bola Maitinibu, like Wicca, and so many of them. As them, the degree they come out with, you will find out that they are not. People who come out with first class are still struggling. Even some of them today in Nigeria are farmers. Because why? Because they school in Nigeria and there's no work for them to do. They can't even survive if they really don't want to join politics. Because why? Because they don't have the money. Those who has the money are the ones doing evil in politics. Bola Medinibu believes that he can do everything and go through with it. You know, ever since he collaborated with Supreme Court to squash a big court with honorable, honorable verdict, to listen on the can. Some Europeans are very happy. They are smiling. They are rejoicing. They are jubilating. That the criminal they bring to office doesn't obey court order. He prefer to destroy the life of another man's son. That Buhari killed his father and his mother. Maybe some of you think we are playing here. Tomorrow you will claim that Yibo started the war in Nigeria. This time around will not be war. But people will go there. Go and market one place. We will go to the war wherever they are. Some of us kept quiet because of one another. Some of us are American citizens. We will make sure that everywhere their keys are, they will feast, feast, feast out. Now the can is a human being. What he asked was the freedom of his people, his right. Both Buhari the terrorist and Tribu the drop barrel has no right to keep him in custody of DSS. Especially after a big court has set him free. They believe we don't know what they are out to, but let them try and see. They will understand. But not only that, that country called Nigeria will be diminished from this planet Earth. All their children, whatever they are in the world, will be fished out. And that suffer that they have made Nandika go through because he is fighting for his right. They will suffer worse than what he has suffered. 
I don't think I have much to say. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay Biafra. <laughs>